I'm ready to run Baby Flo again. Alan Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Baby Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win. You ride the new horse, Oliver Champion Flo. One of the babies for Baby Flo. For Flo to the Flo. Hush money. Hush money. Oh, the hush money. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, so much tea in this vlog. Let me just start with the immaculate Haunted Mansion vibes. You guys, we are obsessed with Disney. We're not Disney adults. We are, but we do love a good, we do love a good Disney moment. So I had to wear this um, because we feel haunted by something. And I want to tell you what it is and what's going on and tea that you probably maybe heard little inklings of. Basically, and maybe this, maybe you guys have experienced mercury in the microwave and all the things that are going on, but weird stuff has been happening this month, like these last couple of weeks, and we wanna talk about it. One, this was supposed to be an unfiltered, and here is why we're never doing another unfiltered ever again. Dot, dot, dot. If we decide to later, don't come up at us, okay? <laughs> but this is what we've, we've thought every single time that we've started to do an unfiltered. It's almost like, the vlog gods come at us with like all of this footage of things to show it almost like it's, it perpetuates drama when we are like oh we're gonna make this really amazing thing obviously cody makes these really beautiful really really beautiful full length vlogs and tells the story so beautifully of what we have going on in our lives and it's so amazing and i'm forever grateful for the unfiltered series that being said i'm ready to run baby flow again I know, I know, I have chills just talking about it. That being said, we've been gearing Baby Flow up, getting ready to make some runs. And I'm, I feel like I'm gonna air this all out because once I air it all out, I feel like maybe we've taken the wind out of the sails of um, the vlog spirits that are haunting us. But um, we've been gearing up to run Baby Flow at her first like big run. And I entered her and I hauled her and I saddled her and I was in the alleyway. And then it feels like just the nuts and bolts have just completely fallen off of our entire month. So let me start this story at the beginning. Basically, um, we have been filming for this unfiltered series, getting baby flow in shape, getting everything. As a matter of fact, Cody, play the, like, the emotional chilling part of all the practices and all of the hard work we've been doing. Check it out. Ready or not. Here I come. Here I come. You can't hide. Gone find you and take it slowly. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we've been doing things and stuff. It's not been on my story. It's not been on the internet. We've just been ready. I entered Baby Flow at the Breeders Challenge that we went to. We ran Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I took T-Wagon on the first day. I took Roman and did really good. Cody took Flowbot and um, Mojo one day. And then we we're gonna go back on Saturday. And on Saturday, I was gonna take Hush Money and Baby Flow. I took Lolo and Hush Money the day prior, and then I was ready to take Baby Flow. The ground looked good. I tested out for several days. Um, Cody had already done really well, so we were ready to go for it. You won money on Flowbot, didn't you? Cody even won a couple of hundred bucks on her horse. So now it's time for us to run on Saturday. We ran our first two horses, and they did beautifully, absolutely amazing. And we went back to get our other horses. 
And this is just, this is one story of 20 of as we've been starting to shoot this unfiltered again. Um, but this is the big story. We were unprepared to run because they shuffled draw around. They put Cody before me when she was supposed to be after me. We were at the gate negotiating like, hey, why is she before me when she's supposed to be after me? It's not her time to go yet. She got rushed. It was a whole thing. They scrambled draw after 100 Yeah, they scrambled the draw an hour and a half in. We were already on our other horses, had made a run. We were on number 100 and something um, when the draw got scrambled. We checked um, their website. The draw was exactly as it was posted on the website, et cetera. Again, we had just gotten off of a horse, saddled our next horses in a hurry, cinched up, walked the mile back, and we were getting ready to run when we, we ride up and they're turning Cody out. So the whole thing, I, I pause to say that one turd in the punch bowl makes the whole thing suck because Breeders' Challenge as a whole, absolutely amazing, staff, 99% absolutely amazing. We cannot wait to go back. So much that we love it that we nominated our stallion and paid a whole boatload of money to have our stallion be um, Breeders' Challenge incentive. So I'm very excited about that. But there was just one turd in the punch bowl that just kind of made it difficult for everybody to get up the alley and rushed everybody, made everybody feel ill-prepared, turning people out as a whole thing. Cody goes to run on Flowbot. I am still... I was made. Huh? I was made. You so it was her turn, it was not her turn to go. She's supposed to go after me. I'm on baby flow, but they were told, they told her that she had to go right then. So instead of her normal warm up routine, she goes. I am talking to the gate guy about how he doesn't need to rush people and how we're very concerned. Why is she going? I don't know that she's in the arena. The run is going. She's already run in there a couple of times. So the run is going. And then Flowbot pulls a move that I also had due to me at Glenrose um, last year. I haven't fallen off in 20 years, but I've fallen off Flowbot in this exact same spot. Cody, roll that beautiful bean footage of me hitting the ground that not a lot of people have seen. Let's see it. Okay, I fell off fair and square like a sack of potatoes. What had happened is I was a little uncomfortable. I had done some stuff to my knee. Excuse, excuse, excuse. I fell off, right? Like I fell off. I take full accountability for that, etc. Cody, we've joked about it of like, hey, if he looks like he's gonna hit the third barrel and he doesn't give you that extra step, don't throw your leg behind you because he's so strong that when he comes back through, he just whips you off to the side. That's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, Cody didn't feel super prepared because she was super rushed in the alleyway. And she fell off. If this were a chaotic wreck, it would be one thing, but it was like a, just like happened to me, like a bloop. Like mine was, I would, I would venture to say mine was worse. Like I fell, like kept trying to get back on and it was just like, it looked way worse. Cody fell and like just stuck her hand out. Landed right here, broke both bones in her left arm. This sucks, right? Like sucks. Not only that, but then We've got the whole family there. Thank God we have the whole family there to watch baby Flo run. So thank God Jesse was able to be right with her. Tracy takes the babies. Lala helps with the horse. I take the horses back because I'm on baby Flo. And every single person is asking, do you want me to take your horse? What cult are you on? Do you want me to take your horse? Would you like me to take your horse? And I'm like, no, 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 no. And I freeze over in complete trauma because I feel like, oh my God, I got my friend hurt. Like, this is exactly what happened to me. I felt like such a jerk. And I have a breastfed on-demand baby, so then I run to the stands to feed my baby because I'm freaking out. It takes like 10 minutes to get an ambulance inside to get Cody out. Anyway, it's a whole thing. People, that's pretty funny to us how people think Cody is like a 10 to 12 year old girl when she's just a smoking hot. Cody's 30, you guys. She's smoking hot and I, told one person at a jackpot I was they were like how old is that little girl that you put on that horse and I'm like she is hot 30 and has a bomb skincare routine <laughs> so needless to say we didn't run baby flow we do not know the reason that Cody broke her arm but we do believe that everything happens for a reason right like we feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to run her in that moment 
but it'll be a little while before she's back on and riding. So if you guys see me pop up on Mojo, um, she asked me to ride him at the pink buckle and then I'm going to be tuning him so that he's in shape and ready for her comeback. Great news is if there were ever a good time to be pregnant, like I was last year at this time, or to have something like this happen, this is the best time. The reason is, um, like we were just talking about Cody and I off camera, it's not if you get hurt, it's when on horses, especially when you're going this fast and you're trying this hard. And it's like driving, it's like anything else. When you do a lot of it, a lot of these things kind of pop up. Um, so she'd already just won money. She'd already won the 1D that week. And Perfect, Co. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Drive straight, Cody. Go ahead. Got it. Drive Got it. straight, Cody. Go, 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 go. go. Good. You're good. Woo! Okay, we knew it was coming. Cody won the 1D. So exciting. So many happy moments. Um, of course, Poppy's going to steal the show because here's what he had to say about Cody's run. Super, Cody. I'm super proud, baby. Thank you, man. Great. Day one on Full Body. We did not see this coming. Actually, I didn't see it coming ever. I, <laughs> I knew a year ago you yeah. could be on Flowbot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're, you know, when you first got on Mojo, you had a little problem at first barrel. I know. Because you was running kind of straight at it. Yeah. When you learned I still to, do that. When you still learn to go down the middle far enough. Yeah. Well, that's what he needs. Yeah. So you like you got the first barrel down. So, because if you turn that first barrel, he's probably going to turn those other two. Yeah. And did you see your second barrel tonight? Yeah, and my rule tonight Ooh. was, I was like, don't eat, try to turn the second or third barrel. Because he's been so, like, just eeks around it. So I'm just like, just sit there. You smoke that second barrel. So, yeah, that was, I'm so proud. Cody, you just don't know. It's, it's, uh, I'm just so proud of you. That's what I got you for your birthday. <laughs> birthday, present. birthday present. Got a birthday uh, win yeah, on Flowbot. Birthday present. Yeah. Like, so, I know what he would want. A flow bot win. <laughs> yeah, I I told Fallon a long time ago I couldn't wait for you to get the competition one time. Yeah. Good girl. Way to go. And then crap, this happens. So we just want to send well wishes and prayers to every single person out there that has been in all of our DMs that just feels like they've had a similar experience this month of just kind of the crap hitting the fan. Um that's just kind of our vibe this week. So we don't want to do any more unfiltered. <laughs> that doesn't mean that we'll never do one. I'm not going to ever say never, but I am going to say like, we're going to chill on this because the first one that we did, we were innocently filming and unfiltered. My mom passed away. I'm just a little bit, it's like the office. I'm not stitious. I'm superstitious. <laughs> I, I am starting to feel like maybe, and I believe that everything is energy and I'm total hippie about that stuff. So I feel like maybe when we open up to have something really dramatic go down on the vlog, because we want to show you guys some cool stuff we've been working on, that inevitably that's the time that the drama shows up. So with that being said, Baby Flo did not make a run. I'm not that kind of friend. Um, so she did not make a run. I haven't been on her since. Um, I think I'm ready to get back on her. The shoer the next day actually said, hey, you haven't run Baby Flow anywhere, have you? And I was like, no, why? Because I didn't, we didn't tell anybody um, besides family, family. And um, he said, oh, because I just want to make some changes to the shoe because I wouldn't want her to slip and fall. And it's like, is that why Cody had such a bad fall was to make sure the Baby Flow didn't run? Like everything happens for a reason, right? Like what was that thing? Um, that and I think that Cody has made this look really easy and maybe the powers that be, the vlog gods decided like, we're gonna show how tough Cody really is because I think people take her strength for granted because she's quiet. And so I think this is a cool time for us to see exactly what she's made of. I know what she's made of. So I'm excited for all of you to see it. Um, any of you guys that think you could do it better, I extend a welcome to fly you to my home to ride Flowbot because he's so easy. <laughs> So it's a standing offer. You can come right here to Mega Ranch and show me how it's done. Um, so that being said, we had that go down. Um, 
I haven't run baby flow. Now we're going to take some steam out of this thing. We're not going to make it such a big deal. I definitely want you guys to see it when I make a run and we're definitely going to make a vlog about it. But you guys saw beautiful practice footage. Maybe I'm going to start revealing a little bit more on my story about her making some practice runs and maybe we'll throw some things in where you guys can see her a little bit more instead of holding everything back for that time. Um, that's the tea on this vlog. Also, thank you guys so much for all the love on T-Wagon's vlog and um, everybody extending their love to Alex and his major decision about wanting a stud. I would have never purchased a stallion. So it's w without him, I wouldn't have had the courage to do this. So thank you guys so much. There's a lot of questions about what kind of mare will we breed to. His first year with us, I think send papers in, I have my email everywhere. Send your papers in. Let us take a look at them. We're not going to make a pre-approval list until probably next year, which meaning like um, if you have a really great grade mare that you've lost the papers on and she's a winner, we're probably going to breed your mare. Um, if you have, um, you know, maybe a APHC or something like that, we may we'll send in your papers. Let's look. Let's make sure that we're not um, going to breed to anything that has any... Um, he is six panel tested, not five panel. So he's six panel tested in, in, um, he's homozygous for black and heterozygous for Tobiano. So really, really cool, um, bloodlines and breedings. His sire is PYC paint your wagon. His dam is high class turnpike. Um, it's a really cool horse. And I'm very, very excited for all the mares that we're getting. We have some incredible mares. I didn't think that I would be able to say that I think we're going to be booked full and going to have to close his books, especially because it is the end of the month and we're months out of the opening of breeding season. But I can tell you right now with the number of contracts out, depending on the number of contracts that come back in, we're probably going to have to close his books because we just were not expecting this overwhelming response. And again, I want to extend a huge thank you to everybody for your love and support. And we just think this is a really, really cool part of our dynasty. So thank you so much. I looked at the numbers today and I was like, holy cow, like we're probably going to have to cap this because this is our first year doing this. Um, we have amazing mentors that are going to help us through. Um, of course, the um, previous owner is going to help us make sure that we do everything right. So we're very excited about this. So we have non-dramatic fraternity footage that's coming next time that we're not going to make anything crazy out of. All right, you guys, I know that was a whole lot of information. Make sure to go show Cody some love over on her IG and she will be back very soon. Did I not answer any of your questions about that? Mojo is going to be legged up and ready for her when she's ready to get back on. Yes, she will ride Flowbot again at some point, but she's in no hurry to do that because we want to make sure she's fully, fully healed. I will be tuning him as well. Um, and at some point, I'll take him somewhere and run him to make sure that he is good to go. Um, also, very proud of his reaction when it happened because he just stood there quietly and waited, which you wouldn't maybe think would be his very first go-to thing. Um, but he's done that both times and when I did it and when she did it. Um, two, if you are a person that has been embarrassed by your failures, you won't get anywhere. So I, I just, I want the message of this to be, please don't be embarrassed by whatever your failures have been, whatever you have deemed not your best, because it's in those moments that you're able to show people the strength that they simply haven't had. It takes a coward to sit back, point a finger, and laugh at someone else's failures and misfortunes, but it takes a true, true, courageous person to look and go, hmm, that was a stumbling block. I'm going to go get this. And that's what I did with breaking my neck. I've had tons of other injuries as well. And every single time I come back doubly strong. And that's exactly what we know is going to happen with Cody. You guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure that you're subscribed to the vlogs. Ding that little notification bell so you're the first person to get the next set of tea that we're not going to make super dramatic or take a long time to film because we just ain't about that life right now. And I'm wishing everybody a smooth October, a very smooth, smooth sailing, easy going October. As always, don't forget, count your blessings, drink your protein and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Yeah.